Good afternoon, you guys. Welcome back or welcome to Kelly's Little One's Nursery. I'm Kelly. How was everybody's Saturday? I hope everybody's Saturday is going well. So, I have been watching a lot of channels lately. I've been coming across quite a few channels of different content are different creators who do who've done um, videos on their Bible collections and I thought I'd do a Bible collection for you all I'm gonna wear my reading glasses and so you can so I can see what I'm doing I'm gonna pull I'm going to pull this computer up here so I can I can see what I'm doing. So let's show you my Bible collection. First off, I'm going to start off with this Bible, which you guys have seen. It's a it's the Rhyme Time Bible. That's a Bible storybook. It's made for kids. I got it in a collection um, from my grandpa. He gave me uh, quite a bit of collection. It's uh, gold. It's by Golden Honey Books. I've showed you guys this. In the video before, and then I also have. Um, I think I've also showed you this Bible before, my book of Bible stories, which is another kid-friendly book, which has you know photos and stuff, and it's easy to read, and uh. I tried to go through them before doing this video. Um, uh, let's see. It's a 1978 Watchtower Bible and Ta Tact Society of Pennsylvania. And it's uh, my book of Bible stories. England. Made in the United States of America. So it just goes through the story of the Bible. Just goes through the story of the Bible in in pictures. Easy for kids to read. I got this for I've had this for a very long time. I got this from my grandma and grandpa when I was a kid. I will always cherish it now that my grandma is deceased. And then I have a couple of New Testament Bibles, basically. I have this Bible, which is the New Testament and Psalms. It's uh, Gideon. It's I think it's produced by the Gideons. Yeah, the Gideons International. It's, uh, the website is uh, www.gideons.org. And the book's not for sale, it says, but it's the New Testament with Psalms. And, it ha and it's basically the New Testament and Psalms. It comes in this nice, uh, it's not a, it's not really a paperback. I'm not sure what it is, but it's not really leather. I don't know what this is. There's a New Testament Bible here. And I got this from my now sweet heavenly sister in Christ. Leanne, she had one of these and she was able to get an extra one and she 
give it to me. So thank you for that, Leanne. And sometimes when I'm reading one of my regular Bibles and I can't find a particular verse, if it's in this one, it's kind of easier to find because in this one it, it goes by actual chapters. Easier I can find. And then these two Bibles are both the same. They're just pocket Bibles. And they're both New Testament, Psalms and Proverbs. And they're Gideon, and they're both from, uh, I think they're both, yep, yeah, the Gideon's International. They both are. This one, my mom brought home from the food bank for me a long time ago, and I actually put the new date on this when I got it, April 19th, 2011. And the food bank that was the, the, the church out here in the valley that was that does the food bank that my mom goes to each month. They were giving one of these away for free, and so my mom knew that I'm the one that reads the Bible, so uh, this is an orange pocket one, and here's a white pocket one, same exact thing, Psalms and Proverbs by the, the Gideons International. I um, don't know why um, I I got this I saw these sitting on the table at uh, in my dialysis clinic but um, yeah uh, Gideon you know, Gideon Bible app find help find truth and I have had this since September 8th of 2022. So those are two more New Testament Bibles. And then these two Bibles, I don't know if I've shown you. Uh, this is a New Living Translation Holy Bible. And I got. One of these I got from a church. I, I think this one I got from a church that I intend, I attended with a lady I met in Bible study a few years ago when I went with my uh, older gal friend, Carrie. And then her, I'm, I was talking at the end of the Bible study night, I was talking with the lady who... I was talking to her about how I uh, wanted to go to church, and and I was looking to go to church, but I can't because I don't have a ride. And she offered to take me to the church she attends to. It's called One. They have two campuses here in town, one one uh, on the north side and one in the valley, and so. Uh, as a new person, a new attendee, they give you one of these and little pamphlets about them. So this is the, uh, like I said, it says right up top, New Living Translation, Holy Bible. I don't read this very often because it's small print. And even with my reading glasses, it's in a small print. I, I kind of like the, I like the bigger print. And then this one is another Bible that is a New Testament Bible like these ones. How to Find God, New Testament, Living Water for Those Who Thirst. And this is another uh, New Living Translation Bible, and I got this from Mission Church over there on Pines, 
close to me. They were giving away these for free, and they tabbed a few a few particular spots to read through and look at. Um, this is a really nice Bible. Um, again, it's the New Testament, but again, I don't read this one very often because, again, it's small print, and I like, I prefer large print. And then, let's see, and then this Bible here, not this, the, the, this is in the case. This is, this Bible I have in this case is obviously purple and it has a Bible verse. It says, plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29, 29 verse 11. Purple, you can see that. It's got a pocket back there and a handle. I use this for Bible study. And this Bible is another new international version Bible um, that I that my friend Carrie originally let me borrow. And it is a holy Bible. And as you can tell, it is well used. I don't have tabs for it, but I used sticky notes to to kind of as an example. I don't know if you can see that. I use sticky notes to kind of mark sticky mark places. It's been well used, and I often when I do read the Bible, I often uh, read this. And this is from Carrie and. I asked her if she wanted it back and when we were done with Bible study for that summer and she said no that she that she didn't need it because it was her hus her late husband Gary's Bible and he was is no longer here so um so yeah, he, she said that uh, she didn't need one because she had an exact one of her own. And it's just a gray Bible that just says New Testament on it. Um, yeah. And then the, um, let's see, hang on a second. This Bible I've shown you guys, Daily Bible large print edition 365 daily readings in chronological order with devotional insight and this is a really thick book you guys a really thick book and uh i got this from uh Oh, guideposts. Yeah, that's right. I I saw this on a website for free on 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 uh, guideposts, and uh, and it said it was free, and that I just had to uh, fill out an order form. But I do once in a while look at this. It has all you know it's 365 days a year all kinds of it it this literally breaks the bible down in in very specific 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 detail and again i've showed you guys that before Ooh, it's by guideposts and it's the another NIV Bible. It's an international version, new international version. Basically, I've showed you that before. And then, oh my gosh, sorry guys, I'm almost done here. So,
this Bible here is another really old Bible. It is, it was a yard sale special. I can't remember when I got it, but it is also a new international version. And it's the the Thompson Chain Chain Reference Bible. Old Testament and New Testament. Uh Thompson's Thompson's original and complete system of Bible study. So this is like a reference Bible. And as you can see, I don't read this one very often either, but um, it's, I don't know if you can tell, but got, oops, got tabs in it, and it was already in this, was already in this, uh, it was already in this uh, this red case when I bought it. I saw what was in it, and I don't think I had a Bible yet. At least not like a whole holy Bible with both the New and Old Testament in it. And so I was really interested, and it was somebody that was selling it, and I got it for a cheap price. So this has been around for a while, obviously. As you can see, it's kind of collecting dust, and it's a kind of a really old Bible. And then, last but not least, I got this Bible, and this is the newest one in the collection. It's also a new international version. This was one of my grandpa's last Bibles. And I think I showed this to you. Um, yep, it says NIV right here. You can't see it because it's dark. But um, I do have uh, a few more collections, collection of Bibles in my Bible collection, but they're up on the shelf. And when and if I can get my mom's boyfriend to get those books off of my shelf so I can show you the rest of my Bible collection, I will. But that's quite a Bible collection. If I do say so myself, let me get all the way here. You can probably see, can you see all those? I don't know, can you see all those guys? Those are the entire Bible collect. Well, not the entire Bible collection, but it is oh, quite the collection. And then I have about one, two, three, four different devotionals in which Maybe I'll show you in a different video. That'll be a shorter video. And then once, uh, once I uh, go and um, once I go put my once I go put my other see see that you guys. Look at that. And then all these. Quite the election. I said a same uh, different content creators do. Their Bible collections. So I wanted to show off what I could 
to you guys. This is this is my this is my Bible collection. Let me see if I can get a closer look now. Act up. There we go. See that? There it is. Oh, oh man. The bookmark fell out of my Bible. One of my Bibles says, Jesus loves me and has the verse of John 3.16, which is my favorite verse, you guys. So, that is my collection of Bibles. I hope that you whew, all enjoyed this I hope you all enjoyed this video, and uh, I hope you like this content. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share with your friends, and um, um, if you, if any of you have a if any of you have a Bible collection out there, um, yeah, if any of you have a Bible collection out there, go ahead and tag me in them. I would really love to see some of you all's, I'd love to see some of you all's, uh, Bible collection if you have them. I've watched other people's. I I don't know how they they just when you come across when you watch certain content it just you know it just comes out it, or it just you know it gives you references or whatnot and so yeah if you have even if it's just a small collection of Bibles, go ahead and let me know about it. And if uh, you can't comment down below, um, maybe I'll put a post on my community tab and you can uh, comment there and tell me or show me Ooh, your Bible collection. But this is what I have. This is part of my Bible collection. I have one, two, three. I don't know how many more Bibles I have up on the shelf up there, but I can see at least. Oh, I'm hot. I can see at least three of them. So this is another video I've been wanting to do for a bit until. I just wanted to, I just wanted to share my Bible collection with you all. So thank you so much for watching. And as always, be blessed and be a blessing. Have a good weekend. Bye guys.